this morning with pops over here. I'm gonna try to uh, find some of these turkeys we left. I guess when Shane was here, which was about two and a half weeks ago, huh? Is that when he was here? Yeah, three weeks. Three weeks ago? Been a while. I'm supposed to be in Arkansas right now. Had big plans, bought license, whole nine yards, but uh, one thing led to another and I uh, just didn't, I didn't like not hunting Georgia, but one time this year, so. I decided to run back here for a couple days at least. side of the road here he's gobbling every breath every time I hit this tube call so we're going to advance on him about a hundred and uh, see if he I mean I don't know he's burning it up hot we just can't go to him or not all the way to him so we're going to uh, yelp at him as we as we go just to keep him entertained and when a turkey's that hot you never tell what they're capable of doing
and he's got a pretty gobble. Well, that turkey gobbled his brains out for probably the better part of an hour and a half or so. But uh, then all of a sudden he's just like, Phew. I mean, he went from gobbling like crazy to not gobbling at all. So we buckled down just in case he was making a move, but we've been sitting there for probably close to an hour. He hadn't shown up, he hadn't gobbled again, so it makes you think as much as he was gobbling, something might have got after him over. Um, either way, we're gonna try to stroll around here and drum up something else, I reckon. food plot that we started on this morning with several turkeys out in it but uh no long beards it doesn't look like <sighs> so we sat and we called and we walked and we called and we looked and we listened and we i mean we were around turkeys this morning the only turkey that was really wanting to play the game was on the wrong side of the road though i mean dad's gonna give it another spin this morning and hopefully they're Hopefully we can get a turkey goblin like it was on the other side of the road, on our side of the road this morning. Yeah, this is probably going to be my last little swing at Georgia for the season. I'm probably going to... i got to migrate westward. i got to pick up Drew and Sleazy at the airport Friday evening in Colorado. So that is a considerable amount of driving between here and Colorado, so i got to get started on it. gorgeous morning but um nothing close so we're already on the move typical late season stuff you may not hear a bunch but usually if you can hear one he's in the right mood and we hear one but he's about about a long ways too far
get him to come out of that private field. I got a little footage of him coming down the hillside there and he sure liked to came down that hillside to let us see him and gobbled at us a handful of times but he wouldn't he wouldn't cross it the rest of the way and coming over into the woods with us. He uh he did what turkeys are supposed to do. He came to the top, told her to come to him. And then when she didn't, he said, heck with it, went back over the hill and that's all she wrote. So. so, I just rambled on with the last little spiel, trying to bring you all guys up to speed. But I'm going to try to condense that so I'll be able to use it. So, anyways, it is about 2.30 in the afternoon. I don't hunt many afternoons. I just, uh, I'm a morning kind of guy when it comes to my home turf but home turf has been foreign to me this year I've only picked up the gun a handful of times in Georgia so I'm hunting the afternoons because I'm taking off supposed to have already been taken off supposed to have done hunted Arkansas and working my way to pick up Sleazy and Drew in Colorado but I'm putting myself in a pickle here by not doing that I'm going to drive a whole lot more at one time than I want to but the long and the short of it or the short and the long of it. I don't know how that goes. Anyway, I've got a couple tags in my pocket from my home state, and uh, I really like hunting home. I like Georgia and Alabama. So, when I pull out for this uh, big western swing, this is the last time I'll see home for uh, for this turkey season. So, I just uh, came in instead of going out, taking off this weekend like I was supposed to. I came in to hunt a couple more days here around home. If I do find a turkey this evening, it's going to be completely due to Drew's recon. Um, this is a turkey. He found a turkey up here right at the beginning of the year. Um, and I uh, should have killed him a couple times as luck would have it. He didn't. But it looks like there's been two bicycles and one set of boot tracks in here since it rained on Saturday. So, the last two days there's been some traffic in here. But like you can tell, the sun's straight overhead. It is hot. It's like 80 something degrees. So, I'm trying to find a late season, heavily hunted public land, eastern turkey in the afternoon. The more times I say that, the more stupid I feel for being here, but you know what? You don't know unless you go. I haven't touched a call yet because I'm trying to approach this area differently. It's part of that public land stuff always. How you kill turkeys on public land? I can't tell you we're gonna kill a turkey in here. Our chances are probably less than one. But what we're gonna do is try to put ourselves in the best situation, I believe, to kill one. Which means we've got to approach it differently than what the majority of those boot tracks back there have been approaching it. They walk the main road and probably yelp and whatever, which is down at the foot of the mountain. What I'm doing is walking down that road all the way to the end of the mountain. And when I get to the end of it, I'm gonna go up to the top. And I'm gonna walk it, I'm gonna work it back toward the gate. Most people that do work the mountain's probably gonna come up straight from the gate. So, I'm gonna work it backwards from what he's used to it being worked. That's the plan. So, give me about three or four hours, I'll tell you how well it works out.
off one side or the other. I'm on top because it's thick. Gives me a little bit of cover. Allows my calls to go to both sides. So, I don't know what that was. I heard, I hope it was a turkey call. If it was, it was a good ways over in there. But, I think it was a woodpecker on a hollow log. Again, he's in the same spot. We're going go backwards. Go away from him. Get over the spur that he's on, on the back side of it. Inch down. And see if we can uh, get a good pin on him, if nothing else. Maybe even fly up and try to figure out exactly where he's at for in the morning. Looks like I'm going to stay in Georgia another day.
should quit that. Haven't moved. I'm still in the blowdown. I can't hear him walking anymore, I don't think. And he hasn't gobbled again. Sucker probably just walked straight up that bottom door we've been calling to him for the past two hours. my curfew to kill one, to be honest with you. I don't like shooting them going to the roost. He's got to be thinking about it. I never did hear that joker fly up. I guess he just hopped a couple times and set his wings or something.